everyone, welcome back to my channel and this video making my spring capsule wardrobe and doing a huge declutter. Much needed as you can see. I actually did one of these in winter and it was really therapeutic so I think particularly at the moment while the world is mad and it's all out of our control, having a good spring clean is as good for your mind as it is for your wardrobe. But first up, I want to say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. They help you create some of the most fashion forward looking websites I've seen. So I shall tell you all about them in a little bit. Okay, so spring summer capsule wardrobe. Now this giant rail of clothes is the edited version. It feels overwhelming and chaotic and there's just far too much going on and I need to edit it down. Ideally to about 40, 50 pieces. But the reality is I think my spring summer wardrobe is bigger than my autumn winter wardrobe. I seem to have a lot more clothes for spring summer. So it might well be 60 and I'm not going to beat myself up about that. The theory is still the same, getting it down to 60 pieces that I wear time and time again, that I can make lots of outfits together, will make my life so much easier. That's the plan in theory anyway. Now though I am feeling slightly overwhelmed at my very overstuffed rail, the joy of having a capsule wardrobe far outweighs the mission I'm going to have editing that down. It's going to feel organised and calm, making getting dressed each morning so much easier. It also helps you focus on quality over quantity and you end up rediscovering a new love for something that you've already got in your wardrobe. And once you're finished, it can actually help save you money. You'll be able to see exactly what you do have and what you're missing. So that next time you go shopping, you don't end up going for randoms, you'll shop for what you actually need and what you're missing from your wardrobe. So a good place to start is what you end up wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. In my case that is a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. I do love wearing a simple tee and a really nice pair of jeans and dressing it up with accessories. So I've got this black one that came from Organic Basics, a white one which is definitely a keeper. Vest top I am going to keep. In the winter, when I did my capsule wardrobe, it made me realise that I needed a few more t-shirts as I seem to wear them so often. So I've added this camel tone one from Cezanne recently, and I've got this Breton top which I got from Zara. Although this is long sleeves, I'm going to keep it in because English summers are never quite as hot as we'd like them to be. I've got two pink camisole tops, so I'm going to keep the silk version. Now through summer, along with t-shirts, I do tend to wear camisoles all the time. And then I come to my first gap in my spring-summer capsule wardrobe because I definitely need a white camisole. It isn't actually as white as it looks because stupidly I put it in with a dark wash. So I'm gonna put that to one side for the minute, have a good search of some other white camisoles out there. I will link my favorites I find in the description box below and hopefully I can find a nicer version of that. This one came from Suzanne. It's silk, I love it. I wear it an awful lot, but it's probably a bit more of an autumn blouse, so I'm gonna stick that in storage. New one I just got from Zara is a keeper, and a new one from Suzanne with that lovely gold thread running through it is definitely staying. This one came out of storage, and I absolutely love it. It's from a brand called Sluiz Ibiza, and the quality of their pieces is beautiful. It's like a really heavyweight cotton with that gorgeous print running through it. I wear it loads throughout summer, so I have to stick it on the rail. Now this is a beautiful silk top I got as a present from my husband. It came from Prada. I think it's a really good idea to keep at least one statement top, one statement dress, and maybe one statement coat in your capsule wardrobe at any given time. So I'm gonna put this on my rail as wishful thinking that I shall be wearing this very soon, going out for dinner with my husband. Another very pretty blouse I got recently, this one came from Suzanne. That would probably be a daytime blouse for me, but also I would wear that out at night. I think the key is anything you add to your capsule wardrobe has to add value, it has to be really versatile. And if it's not ticking those kind of boxes, you probably shouldn't have it in there. Oxford shirts are obviously one of the big trends this season, so that's gonna stay. I feel very excited to start wearing that one again. Two very similar shirts. I think I prefer the crispness, so that one's gonna go. Bit of a statement top probably for the daytime, that's gonna stay. Maxi skirt, definitely going in. And then denim skirt, definitely going in. I don't wear shorts very often, so I only have a couple of pairs. These are definitely my favorite. These came from All Saints. So I'm gonna keep those in, but stick the others in storage because the reality is I don't wear them often enough to have more than one pair on my rail. My lovely boho-esque skirt that I got from Traffic People recently is coming in as well. 
So I'm gonna go onto jeans because that is what I will probably pair with most of these tops I've already got on the rail. Starting with the boyfriend jeans, if I stand tall here, you can see these ones are my favorite, favorite pair of boyfriend jeans. And these came from Mango last summer. They weren't actually meant to be boyfriend jeans. I bought them a size up to make them into that style. And apparently they've bought out a very similar version, which I shall link in the description box below. That's just got a few more distress details on it. H&M skinnies are gonna go because I know on here I've got my Gap ones, which I wear a lot. They're gonna stay. And my new Suzanne jeans, which have got the perfect fit. Absolutely love them. And I will wear them with all of those tops. Now from the attic came these two wide leg jeans, which I think would be a nice addition to my skinnies and then my boyfriends, particularly through summer, because I like wearing sandals or little thongs. But I don't need two pairs. The black one came from Gap and the camel tone one came from Everlane. I think if I was gonna choose between the two, I'd probably go for the camel. So that's four pairs of jeans, which I think I will definitely use, mixing and matching those with all those different tops. So like I mentioned before, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video today. They can help you make really contemporary and sleek looking websites that most importantly for me, are hugely easy to understand on the back end. I previously used to have a fashion label and I had this website which was ridiculously complicated to use. Just uploading a new item to the collection felt like you needed a physics degree. It was that complicated, it drove me mad. So the key for me to having a great website is one that not only portrays your whole aesthetic and meaning of your brand, whatever your brand may be, but one that is really, really easy to use on the back end so that you, the owner of the business, can do it yourself at home on a day-to-day -day basis. From the very starting point of your business, whatever that may be, from a blog to a fully-fledged online store, Squarespace make the process super easy and you can choose from a huge selection of templates. Then you've got all sorts of extras from email marketing your store to scheduling your appointments, and you can even hire a designer to polish your website if you get stuck. From experience, I've learned that if and when I was to have another fashion label again, I would absolutely use Squarespace for my website. I've linked to their website in the description box below, so at the end of this video, do pop over to their website and have a look at all the services they provide. It might just inspire you to create that business you've always wanted to. So smarter trousers, I've got these lovely Arthur pants which came from Suzanne. I really like these but just to make sure that they are going to go with a few pieces in my wardrobe to make sure I'm getting value. I know that I would wear it with a pretty top like that. I would probably wear it with a crisp white shirt and really tuck that in. I would wear it with just a simple camisole top. So that's three outfits already. I know I'm gonna get my wear out of them. They can go in there. Really nice pair of tapered cotton trousers that I got from Under the Stories. And like I showed you with the camel trousers, these are gonna go with lots of those different tops. Though I loved my cord flares that I got from Massimo Duty throughout winter. They're probably gonna be too warm to wear throughout summer. But my Suzanne flares are definitely staying because I absolutely love them. This one is a bit too warm for summer. This one came from Anim Bing. This one, however, which I just got from Amber the Stories, being made from cotton, I think is a lot more suitable for my spring summer. I'm also gonna stick this one in, which came from Alambika because on holiday, because we're gonna go on holiday soon, <laughs> promise. I tend to just layer this over the top of a bikini or stick it with my shorts. And I like it with jeans as well. As much as I love a cashmere crew neck, it's too hot. Now that's quite a warm cardigan, but put that on for the minute. White jumper for spring summer is essential for my capsule wardrobe, so I need to choose between these two. So I'm gonna choose this one. It came from Selected Femme. Waterfall cardigans are, again, really handy. When the sun goes down and you get a little bit chilly, you just wanna drape something over your shoulders. This one came from Hush. Now that is my touch of neon for spring, summer. And although it's a long sleeve jumper, it's actually quite lightweight. I got that from H&M, a premium collection. So I am gonna stick that in. Now this, I know, is a random swerve. And you're probably thinking, what is that, Jessica? But bear with, because when I try it on, you might think it's actually quite cool. My husband got this for me from Mexico. I think it's a traditional Mexican and I really like it and I wear it a lot. You know, at the end of the day when I've finished work and I just wanna get my comfies on, I stick this on. It's a bit random and probably very bohemian looking, 
but it's so cozy and comfy i love it so yeah look with my boyfriend jeans i like that and it's a bit different i'm probably alone on this one you're probably you're thinking what is that hideous sweater you've got jessica but i like it so it's staying okay we've got too many jumpers going on now if i insist on putting my mexican hoodie in there so on to dresses and I do find that as we get to the warmer weather I tend to wear the dresses more and more. So I'm going to allow myself five or six in my spring capsule wardrobe. So first of all definitely this one that I got from Traffic People recently. That one is going to go into storage because I don't wear it enough anymore. As is that one that I got from All Saints, it's a jersey dress. Yeah. But I've got this one which came from New Look which I prefer the shape to be honest. That one came out of storage, that's quite an old uh, sort of dress I would wear out for dinner. Like an elegant dress that came from Future Osbeck. It's beautiful, it's got these slits that go down the fabric here which just show the silk underneath. I'm going to be ruthless, it's going into storage, I don't wear it enough. This one however that I got from Reese, I do wear that a lot. And I like that with sandals or heels so I think it's quite versatile as well. Now I've had this dress from Jigsaw for a very long time, bought it in Australia about 10 years ago and I love it, it's a great fit. However, being sensible and minimalist that I am trying to be, I just got this beautiful embroidered dress from Suzanne and it's too similar so I'm going to keep my new one and put the other one in storage. Definitely my new red dress. This one is brilliant for my holidays. It came from Zara. It is essentially just one giant sack of fabric, but you cinch it in at the waistband with a nice belt. But seeing what's coming up on my rail, I don't think I need this one. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. Now as white dresses are particularly lovely throughout spring, and we also know that they're really on trend because we saw them all over the catwalk, I'm going to allow myself two, possibly three, in my spring capsule wardrobe because I know I will wear them and they will add value to my wardrobe. So the other one I have is this one that came from Hesper Fox, the British independent brand. That's made from 100% linen, so it is different to the other one on my rail and I love it, so it's going in. And if I was going to add a third, it would be this one, which I got from Tallulah and Hope, which you've probably seen me wear an awful lot on my Instagram. I think I need to put it in the maybe pile for now, but I think that would be the first one that I'd add back in. Seem to have a thing for buying very similar dresses. This one came from Mango, this one came from Parisian brand Mes Demoiselles. I adore this one. I absolutely love it, and I don't think there's any comparison, really, between the two, so. Sorry, Mango, you're going there. And you are going on the rail. Pink City Prince dress is lovely, but it's going to have to go to one side for the moment. I think what I'm going to do is keep my capsule wardrobe minimal with those dresses that I reach for time and time again. This isn't set in stone. You could edit it again in three months time. Maybe as the weather gets a little bit hotter, I'll take some of those pairs of jeans out and add a few more dresses in. Okay, I'm already on seven dresses, so this one sadly is going to have to go into the box labelled for holidays. Beautiful, but again, I will save that for my holidays. Another one from Hesper Fox, but that is very much the sort of thing I would wear on the beach or on top of my bikini. So that can go in that box. My lovely Diane von Furstenberg dress, which was in storage, but has made its way out again for spring, summer. I'm gonna have to make it seven dresses because I love this one and this is probably my statement dress out of everything I've got on the rail. I tend to wear this one at night and dress it up with a pair of heels and a nice clutch. So yeah, that's got to go in. Then I've got two boiler suits, the new one I just got from And Other Stories and the long version that I got from Gap. I don't need two in my wardrobe so the Gap one can go away for holidays. So on to outerwear and obviously through spring, summer, I don't need all those winter coats. So I can definitely condense this down a lot. I definitely want to go with the lighter tones for this spring, summer. So I'm gonna keep that one in. And although I love this blazer by Evelyn, it's probably a little bit too warm for spring. So that one can go into storage. Trying to be really ruthless, this one is a little bit surplus to requirements. My leather jacket, of course, has got to stay in my capsule wardrobe. I tend to wear this all the way through spring, summer. I do need a denim jacket, but I don't need two. So choosing between the two of those, I'm probably getting more wear out of the Suzanne one 
than I am out of the classic one from Gap. Don't think I need that one, but I am gonna keep this black blazer in my capsule wardrobe because it's more of a statement piece. I have got my very summer looking trench coat that I got from Mango, this is from last year. Trench coats are again, particularly on trend, so it would be nice to have it there as an option. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile for now. This cardigan I love, but I don't think I need it. I really like this scarf. I got it, I don't know maybe two seasons ago, but it gives you a little bit of a bohemian edge and a bit of warmth if you need it as well. That is going in accessories. But then all I've got clothes wise is my kimonos, which I'd like to keep all three because different occasions they kind of work. So I've got a black one, which kind of looks nice if you want to dress up a little bit, go sleek. I love this one particularly on the beach because it's a bit longer. And this one I love for the daytime because I tend to just put little pretty tops underneath it or even just a simple camisole. So I'm gonna keep all three for now, count everything up, see where I'm at, and then add in my accessories. I cannot recommend this enough. It is so therapeutic. I have managed to get it down to 50 pieces, which considering that spring summer is definitely my season and that my clothes collection is a lot bigger, I think I'm doing pretty well that I've managed to get that down to 50. So I've got 10 pieces to play with for handbags, belts, and shoes. I do love my Western boots, and as you've probably seen on Instagram, I wear them again and again and again, so they have to stay in my spring capsule wardrobe. My lovely loafers that came from the White Company are definitely staying, I wear those a lot. I would actually really like to include both of these pairs of trainers. These are the Nike Daybreaks and these are from Golden Goose. But I really want this capsule wardrobe to be tight and clean and organized, so I'm gonna have to put the Daybreaks into storage because I know really that a classic white trainer throughout spring pretty much will go with everything on my rail. These came out of storage. These are Michael Kors wedges, which I really like. I love that tan leather and I love the raffia here. A bit like my dresses and my tops, I have a pair of statement shoes, which would be this pair I got from Suzanne. Sandals, I got this pair I got from Evelyn. So on to handbags, and I think particularly this season as the bohemian trend is so big, having a straw or rattan bag in your collection is probably priceless. I do also really like to polish lots of these outfits, particularly if they're quite dressed down. I feel like a structured handbag can really elevate a whole look for you. So I'm gonna add in my Polen Paris handbag as well, and my black Saint Laurent too. I found this in storage, which is very old. I think I literally have had that since I was about 22, 23. But I do think that will be handy to have on top of lots of these dresses or just to add a bit more detail to an outfit. With my one piece I've got left, shall I add another dress or my Mac? I live in England, I should probably add the Mac. <laughs> so that lovely Mac, I think, finishes my capsule wardrobe perfectly and makes it just 60 pieces, which I'm quite impressed with myself that I've even managed to do that. But I can't tell you how good it feels to have finally got round to decluttering all my clothes and getting myself a capsule wardrobe specifically for spring and knowing that I've got so many different outfit options in there. I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Maybe I've inspired you to try your own capsule wardrobe. I would love to hear how you got on. Hopefully you found it as calming and therapeutic as I have. Don't forget to go have a look at Square Spaces website and all those services they provide. I'm gonna go and enjoy my lovely calm capsule wardrobe and I shall be back in a couple of days with a bit more fashion inspiration for you. Take care and hopefully I shall see you then.